gosh! Oh, that can't be good. Oh! I got it everywhere. No! Dang! It's too big! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today, we're gonna be trying some tasty food hacks. From the video, Yummy Food Hacks and Genius Kitchen Tricks. Easy DIY food tips and life hacks by 123GO Food. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so make sure to watch the whole video, and uh, I do a pretty crazy hack at the very end. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, let's see what the first one is. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna wanna put some Skittles in a pan. Then you're gonna wanna add some popcorn kernels. Add a little bit of olive oil, Put your top on and just watch those bad boys pop. Wow! Fantastic! When you're done, it should look something like this. Oh, colored popcorn? That's amazing. Dude, this actually looks really cool. But I wonder if it'll actually work. Here's our pan. Turn on our fire. Add in our Skittles. I'm gonna use a lot of Skittles because I feel like that'll help a lot. Now we add the olive oil. <laughs> Last but not least, the popcorn kernels. Put it on the top. Now it's just time to shake it. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think that this method will work. I think I have to wait a little bit for it to start popping. Oh, oh my gosh, it's starting to pop. Oh, I have to shake it. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay. You got the Skittle popcorn? Oh my god, it's getting it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that can't be good. I'm just gonna keep shaking it until they all just pop. The olive oil's just getting everywhere. Yeah, and that's what our popcorn looks like. That's pretty gross. Maybe I added too many Skittles, I don't know. It's definitely all popping. Oh, and it's smoking, oh my gosh. I need to turn on the vent. Oh my gosh, whoa! Well, the popcorn is definitely uh, not super colorful. I mean, we got a little bit of red in there, but is it any good? Oh, that tastes so weird. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. The popcorn doesn't even taste that good. What a letdown. So for this one, you're gonna need a little bit of spray, some food coloring, mix that all together, and then you add your gelatin. Ooh, delicious. Oh. And then you go ahead and put it inside your cake pot mold. Let it refrigerate for a little bit, and it should look something like this. And now you got a bunch of delicious jello cake pops. So I've actually done this one before, but I think this time we should make a giant one. Okay, right, guys, so first step to supersizing this. We're gonna need a giant mold. Yes, this Easter egg should do. It's a little bit more oval shape than I would like, but uh, you know, it might just work. I think the first step is I'm gonna glue it together. That way it doesn't leak. Break it our hot glue gun. Here we go. Just hot glue it all on the sides. Wait, if I do this, it won't come apart. So maybe this isn't a great idea. Uh, hmm. Well, I already committed. Ah! I forgot how hot that is. It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a hot glue gun. Holy crap. What a great meme. Do it for the craft. It doesn't seem to want to stick together. I think I might have messed this up. Can I take off the hot glue? How could I do this to myself? Oh, okay, we got all the glue off. Uh, <laughs> let's try this again. We're just gonna go ahead and put it together. This is harder than I thought. Ah! Oh, it popped together, perfect. Now I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the outside to help it stay together. Okay, that's nice and cooled down. Now we're gonna drill a hole in the top. Let's get all the plastic parts out. Now we have to mix all the jello. First thing we gotta do, add all the boiling water. Oh my gosh. Add all these guys in there. Go ahead and mix it up. Now we have the cold water. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, now for the hard part. We have to try and get this into here. I think I might need to make the hole a little bigger. Oh, I cracked it. No. Oh, well, there's a hole. It's good enough. Does our funnel fit? Yeah, it does. Nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some olive oil and put it inside. This way it doesn't stick. And uh, when we try and break apart the mold, it doesn't stay together. Apparently this is something you're supposed to do. Spin it around. Yeah, that ought to do it. I'm gonna use this bowl to kind of help uh, hold the egg up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I have to attempt to get this jello in here without messing up. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Guys, the egg, it leaked! Oh no! That sucks. What do I even do? I don't think that I can make this one work. Cause I also, this thing was filled with like a lot of random stuff. I don't know what the heck was in here. I think it was like silicone molding or something. Dang, I messed up. I'm going to attempt to transfer the jello over. Okay, so that Easter egg 
Not a good idea. So I guess uh, this will be our new jello mold. Well, I guess the only thing I can do really is uh, shove this in my fridge and hope that this goes over well. Okay, so it's fully gelatinized. Now I'm gonna try and get it out of the mold. One, two, and... Oh! Oh my gosh. It actually kept its shape. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my gosh. That is a... That's a big mold. But can we turn it into a jello pop? You guys ready? One, two, and... Not gonna lie, guys, uh, I'm kind of nervous. I don't think that this stick is gonna hold it, but are you guys ready? And one, and two, and... No! Dang! It's too big! <laughs> I have an idea. Boopity boop! Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, we have our new stick. You ready? One, two, and... But will it hold? <gasps> that this one doesn't work. Okay, so you're trying to make a cake with your mixer and then you're not paying attention and all of a sudden you just get the cake batter all over your face. Oh, oh my God. It's all over the walls now. All over your soda. All over your stove. And your friend just walks in. Oh, oh my God, God, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> if this happened to one of my friends, I would be very concerned as well. Here's a simple life hack. You just get a plate, flip that bad boy over, and you cut a slit where you're gonna put your mixer. Insert your mixers. Now you got a handy shield from your cake batter. <laughs> now this will never happen to you again. Unless you want it to. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay guys, so here's our bowl. I'm gonna try and uh, mix some flour and some water together. That looks pretty good, but you know what this needs? A little bit of food coloring to make it easier to see. Let's add it in there. Perfect. Time to mix. Mix, mix, mix. I don't know how she managed to get it everywhere because I'm not having any problems. Oh, I'm mixing it up. I got it everywhere. This honestly isn't that big of an issue, but I guess for the sake of the craft, I'll try it. Go ahead and make a slit in our plate. Insert our mixer, put it back in the Mixatron. Now, theoretically, we should have a shield against this mess. Wow, so convenient. Looks pretty good to me. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Oh, yum, yum, I love myself some tasty Zaw. <laughs> but the pizza place forgot to cut it. Oh, how annoying. Well, I have a solution for you. You could just try using a knife, but that just doesn't work. So instead, just grab yourself a nice tuna lid, drill a hole right in the center, and attach it to a ruler using a bolt. Now you have yourself a completely functional pizza cutter. So convenient. But does it actually work? Let's find out. Okay, guys, so here's our can. A nice, refreshing can of ravioli. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. There we go. Yeah, nice and clean. Here's our ruler. Now we just need a bolt. Luckily, thanks to my last video, I am super organized with all my bolts now. There we go. Bolt washer. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in this bad boy. Yeah, that ought to do it. I feel like I should take off this tab. Well, might as well. Haha! -ha. All we gotta do is put this over here, line up the holes, put in the bolt. Screw it all together. Now theoretically, we got ourselves a working pizza cutter. Yeah, I think this might just work. Let's try this bad boy out. So here is our beautiful pizza. Let's see if this bad boy works. Here we go. It's actually starting to cut it. Whoa, this is amazing. It's definitely a little hard to cut it still. And this ruler is kind of sharp. This kind of sucks as a pizza cutter, if I'm being honest. Like, it doesn't really cut it that well. I definitely think if this can lid was a little sharper, it would be a lot easier. If you really want to get down to it, it does kind of do the job. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, it kind of works. I would give it a solid uh, six out of 10. Not my favorite hack ever, but you know, they tried. <laughs> okay, so here's another recipe for rainbow kettle corn. And this one is from Tasty. And boy, does that look tasty. What you're gonna wanna do 
is get 12 tablespoons of sugar and divide it. Add food coloring into each one, just like this. So many different colors! Then you just mix, mix, mix until the sugar's all different colors. Put some coconut oil. Then you add your popcorn kernels and individually do the colors. Then you just shake it up. Shake, 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 shake it. Yeah! You just shake up all the popcorn individually with the colored food dye sugar and you should have colored popcorn. Ooh, add a little bit of salt. Wow! That looks <laughs> tasty. <laughs> and when you're done, you just mix all the different colored popcorns together. Dang, that looks pretty sick. I think that this one might work a little bit better than the last one. Uh, let's try it. Okay, so instead of doing six different colors, I'm just gonna go ahead and do three for the sake of simplicity. And we need 12 tablespoons of sugar. One, two, four, cool. Go ahead and add our food dye. Boop, boop, boop. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, this is gonna be a little harder than I thought. It just kind of clumps together. I think the solution here is more food dye. Yeah, red looks pretty good. Now to do the blue and green. Wow, yeah, these look very vibrant. I'm pretty happy with these. Okay, let's try and cook them. Here's our stove. Turn on our heat. Add our coconut oil. This one is uh, pet friendly, so the bench can eat it. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to break off. I think it's because it was frozen. This is proving to be a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, that ought to do it. And the instructions said to just add two pieces of popcorn kernels and wait till it pops and then you know it's ready. This is a lot of smoke. I added a couple more. Oh, one did it. That's a lot of smoke. Well, I guess it's good enough. Just gonna add my popcorn kernels, add my sugar. And I think we just mix it up a little bit. I probably shouldn't be using a plastic fork for this. There we go. Go ahead and add the lid. Shake it up. Oh my gosh, it's actually popping. Oh, it's starting to turn red. Dude, this is awesome. Okay guys, so my camera started overheating, so I didn't really get a majority of this popcorn popping. By the looks of it, it's actually starting to turn red. I'm gonna finish cooking it really quick. Shake, shake, shake. Oh my gosh, it's popping. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger pan. Oh no, I just put it in the bowl. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so glad this is actually working. Oh, dude, it all fell out. Oh my gosh. So far, this is pretty sick. It's actually working. Look, all the popcorn's red. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two colors. Some coconut oil. Boopity boop. Mix, mix, mix. Woo! Oh, oh, it's getting everywhere. Ah! Uh, that definitely doesn't look as good as the red. Okay, onto the green. Okay, that yeah, green looks nice and mixed. Ooh, and the green is done. Wow, it turned out pretty good. It looks like St. Patrick's Day popcorn or something. Go ahead and add it into the bowl. Oh, oh no, I completely burned the bottom part. Guys, I'm still the craft king, okay? Add the blue. Wow, now we got ourselves some rainbow popcorn. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but does it taste any good? Let's try it. It, it kind of tastes like kettle corn. This is not bad. It's not the best kettle corn I've ever had in my life. I definitely think that this one turned out way better than the one, two, three, go version. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that the one from Tasty works. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Look at this fight right down there. Down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite hack that I did today was. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want some of this limited edition merch, you can click right here. If none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm ready. Okay, bye.